The Senate of the Republic Italian, Senato della Repubblica or Senate Italian, Senato is a house of the bicameral Italian parliament the other being the Chamber of Deputies. The two houses together form a perfect bicameral system, meaning they perform identical functions, but do so separately. Pursuant to Articles 57, 58, and 59 of the Italian Constitution, the Senate has a variable number of members, of which 309 are elected from Italian constituencies, six from Italian citizens living abroad, and a small number currently six are Senators for Life Senatoria Vita, either appointed or ex officio. It was established in its current form on 8 May 1948, but previously existed during the Kingdom of Italy as Senato del Regno Senate of the Kingdom, itself a continuation of the Senato Subalpino Subalpine Senate of Sardinia established on 8 May 1848. Members of the Senate are styled Senator or the Honorable Senator Italian, Onorvoli Senatori and they meet at Palazzo Madama, Rome. Topic. Composition. The Senate consists of 315 elected members, and as of 2018 six Senators for life. The elected Senators must be over 40 years of age and are elected by Italian citizens aged 25 or older. The Senate except for six senators who represent Italians residing abroad and the Senators for life is elected on a regional basis. The 309 Senators are assigned to each region proportionally according to their population. However, Article 57 of the Constitution provides that no region can have fewer than seven senators representing it, except for the Aosta Valley which has one and Molise which has two. The Senators for Life are composed of former presidents of the Italian Republic who hold office ex officio, and up to five citizens who are appointed by the President, "...for outstanding merits in the social, scientific, artistic or literary field." The current Life Senators are the current term of the Senate is five years, except for Senators for Life that hold their office for their lifetime. Until a constitutional change on February 9, 1963, the Senate was elected for six-year terms. The Senate may be dissolved before the expiration of its normal term by the President of the Republic e.g. when no government can obtain a majority. Reform In 2016, Italian Parliament passed a constitutional law that "...effectively abolishes the Senate as an elected chamber and sharply restricts its ability to veto legislation." The law was rejected on December 4, 2016 by a referendum, leaving the Senate unchanged. <inaudible> <inaudible> Election of the Senate According to Article 58 of the Italian Constitution, people aged more than 25 years are enabled to vote for the Senate. The electoral system is a parallel voting system, with 37% of seats allocated using first past the post voting FPTP and 63% using proportional representation, allocated with the largest remainder method, with one round of voting. The 315 elected senators are elected in 116 in single-member constituencies, by plurality 193 in multi-member constituencies, by regional proportional representation 6 in multi-member abroad constituencies, by constituency proportional representation. A small, variable number of Senators for Life are also members of the Senate. For Italian residents, each House members are elected by single ballots, including the constituency candidate and his, her supporting party lists. In each single-member constituency the deputy, senator is elected on a plurality basis, while the seats in multi-member constituencies will be allocated nationally. In order to be calculated in single-member constituency results, parties need to obtain at least 1% of the national vote. In order to receive seats in multi-member constituencies, parties need to obtain at least 3% of the national vote. Elects from multi-member constituencies will come from closed lists. The single voting paper, containing both first past the post candidates and the party lists, shows the names of the candidates to single member constituencies and, in close conjunction with them, the symbols of the linked lists for the proportional part, each one with a list of the relative candidates. The voter can cast their vote in three different ways. Drawing a sign on the symbol of a list, in this case the vote extends to the candidate in the single member constituency which is supported by that list. 
Drawing a sign on the name of the candidate of the single member constituency and another one on the symbol of one list that supports them, the result is the same as that described above. It is not allowed, under penalty of annulment, the panishaj, so the voter can not vote simultaneously for a candidate in the FPTP constituency and for a list which is not linked to them. Drawing a sign only on the name of the candidate for the FPTP constituency, without indicating any list, in this case, the vote is valid for the candidate in the single member constituency and also automatically extended to the list that supports them. If that candidate is, however, connected to several lists, the vote is divided proportionally between them, based on the votes that each one has obtained in that constituency. Membership <inaudible> 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 The current membership of the Senate of the Republic, following the latest political elections of 4 March 2018 Presidents Under the current constitution, the Senate must hold its first sitting no later than 20 days after a general election. That session, presided by the oldest senator, proceeds to elect the President of the Senate for the following parliamentary period. On the first two attempts at voting, an absolute majority of all senators is needed. If a third round is needed, a candidate can be elected by an absolute majority of the senators present and voting. If this third round fails to produce a winner, a final ballot is held between the two senators with the highest votes in the previous ballot. In the case of a tie, the elder senator is deemed the winner. In addition to overseeing the business of the chamber, chairing and regulating debates, deciding whether motions and bills are admissible, representing the Senate, etc., the President of the Senate stands in for the President of the Republic when the latter is unable to perform the duties of the office, in this case the Senate is headed by a Vice President, the current President of the Senate is Maria Elisabetta Alberti Casellati. Recent Presidents of the Italian Senate Palazzo Madama Since 1871, the Senate has met in Palazzo Madama in Rome, an old patrician palace completed in 1505 for the Medici family. The palace takes its name from Madama Margherita of Austria, daughter of Charles V and wife of Alessandro de' Medici. After the extinction of the Medici, the palace was handed over to the House of Lorraine, and, later, it was sold to papal government. Later, in 1755, Pope Benedict XIV whose coat of arms still dominates the main entrance ordered major restructuring, entrusting the work to Luigi Hostini. In the following years there were installed the court offices and police headquarters. In 1849, Pius IX moved the ministries of finances and of the public debt here, as well as the papal post offices. After the conquest of Rome by the newly formed Kingdom of Italy, the palace was chosen to become the seat of the Senato del Regno Senate of the Kingdom. Palazzo Madama and the adjacent buildings underwent further restructuring and adaptation in the first decades of the 20th century. A radical transformation which involved, among other things, the modernization of the hemicycle, the full remaking of the prospectus on Via San Salvatore and Via Doana Vecchia, and the establishment of a connection with the adjacent Palazzo Carpegna. The latter, owned by the Senate, was entirely rebuilt in an advanced position compared to its original position. The small church of San Salvatore in Thermes, dating to the 6th century, which stood in the street to the left of the palace, was first closed, expropriated and later razed for security reasons. The current façade was built in the mid-1650s by both Sigoli and Paolo Maricelli. The latter added the ornate cornice and whimsical decorative urns on the roof. Among the rooms one of the most significant and perhaps the most impressive from the political point of view is the Sala Macari which takes its name from Cesare Maccheri, the artist who decorated it in 1880 and created the frescoes, among which stands out as one that depicts Cicero makes his indictment of Catalan, who listens, isolated from their seats. The chamber where the Senate met for the first time on 27 November 1871 was designed by Luigi Gabet. A plaque on the wall behind the Speaker's chair commemorates the King's address to Parliament when first convened in the new seat of government. 
L'Italia e R E S T I T V I T A A S E S T E S S A E A Roma Q V I E Dove Noi R I C O N O S C I A M O L A Patria Dei N O S T R I P E N S I E R I Ogni Cosa Si Parla di Grandeza M A Nel Tempo Stesso Ogni Cosa Si R I C O R D A I N O S T R I D O V E R I Vittorio E M A N V E L E 2 27 Novembre M D C C C L X X I Italy is restored to herself and to Rome. Here, where we recognize the fatherland of our thoughts, all things speak to us of greatness, but at the same time all things remind us of our duties." Victor Emmanuel II, 27 November 1871 Above this has been placed a plaque bearing the inscription Il 2 giugno 1946 persuffragio di popolo e presidio di publiche liberta e a certezza di progresso civile fu proclamata la Repubblica Italiana on 2 June 1946 by popular suffrage in defense of public liberty and a certainty of civic progress was proclaimed the Italian Republic. To the viewer's left stand the flags of the Italian Republic with a ribbon embroidered with the words Senato della Repubblica and the European Union. Topic. See also Parliament of Italy Italian Chamber of Deputies Senate Roman Senate Senato Italiano TV channel. List of Senators for Life in Italy Topic. References Topic. External links Official website in Italian Official website in English